I only have about five minutes to share good 16 years of lessons that I learned every late July and early August when I go to summer school in this big Lincoln town, or whatever Lambo he was driving at the time. So my days would always start off. Instead of school bell, would be, get up, we're going to see friends, or you want to go somewhere? I always thought that just meant we're going out to eat. But now that I see everybody in this room, I finally realized the meaning of we're going to see friends because we would be out for hours. <laughs> and I'm sure half the people that we talk to aren't even in this room right now. But at some point in time, I might have seen you, I might have hit behind him, so you couldn't see me because he was a big man. But one of the lessons I learned those summers was first and foremost to get this many friends to go and see. You had to be not an extraordinary man, but someone who cared. Someone who not only could show a profound sense of humility, but not even need to know the meaning of humble because you were ordinary, and that's how he saw himself, and that's how I could see him. So I didn't know that he was a great coach for a great deal of my life. But when, I, when we went out, and it took me a while to learn this lesson, he taught he approached everybody with respect, with love, and I could almost see them as being members of my family, as my brothers, as my cousins, as aunts and uncles, and I loved him for that. He was the epitome of love for me. He showed the ideals of love toward everybody, fairness towards everybody. He treated you like family. If you're doing something wrong, he'd tell you, even if you didn't want to hear it. If you needed help, he'd be a pillar of support. Another lesson I learned is that you can only work so hard. You can only do so much, people. And then you have to let God do the rest. And he was prepared to do that. He was prepared to do everything he could to help you find the way. And then to step back and let you grow. To let God work with you, to let your family work with you, to do everything for you. And when asked to do this reflection, the only thing I can remember is a giant figure that would let me try to grow. And he did it in a very tricky way. Because I thought of him like a Socrates. He'd always have a question for you. And he'd always have the answer, but he'd always have a question. And he was never satisfied with the statement, I don't know. So he'd keep questioning. He'd keep asking. And he'd eventually give you an answer. And even if you weren't satisfied with it, you eventually would be satisfied with it. And that was his beauty. That was his genius. That's another thing I loved about him. So I'm going to leave saying this. He is still my hero. He is still here, and his legacy still lives on because he has touched everyone in this room. He has showed us a way to be compassionate towards all, to be brothers and sisters with everyone, and to treat people as they should be treated. And there's nothing more I can say. I love him. Thank you, Grandfather.